What's up folks, my name is Vin. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do a very specialty dish that I like. And of course it's going to be Vietnamese. It is called Bun Sale. So this is one of these meals that I really, really, really like when I was a young kid and I could just eat so much of them. This is actually one of the meals that I would have on death row. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I would have the last meal, that I would like uh, die and stuff like that, then uh, I would have this meal for sure, hands down. But it has to be cooked how I cook it. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make bun sale. So uh, let's start. So first of all, what I want to be doing is uh, the batter. So batter is like it's like a pancake, Vietnamese crispy uh, pancake uh, uh, dish. So that's what it's going to be. So I bought a bun sale mix. So there's a bun sale mix right here. I'll show you guys right there. Okay. So we are going to be using this whole thing. And uh, we're just gonna add on to it. So when I open it up, it's gonna be a bunch of that. I'm gonna use a big pot, because you want a big pot to uh, mix it in. Okay. There we go. We got this mixture, but I wonder where is the other mixture in this? Hmm. All right. Starch, turmeric. I think it's all mixed in there for you already. So usually there's like two. Like they'll cut one top and one top, but that's all of it. It's already in one, so we'll just use that. So this again is uh, the Vin Tuan. Bun sale, so the whole thing is for flour for pancake. Okay, check that out. Now, what I'm going to be using is club soda, seltzer. This is club soda, it's just like seltzer, water. So I'm gonna grab that with chicken broth. Chicken broth and uh, coconut milk. You're gonna need that as well as green onions. So I got this green onions just like that. Okay, so first of all I want to do is uh, mix some of this in. I need to get chicken broth so I want a half of a cup of that. So I'm gonna open this up because I just need a cup of it. So uh, just uh, ingredient purposes we're gonna be doing that. Come on. All right, there you go. And it's open. This is a safety open can, so easy to do. Let's just measure it just in case. So half of this. Don't use beer because it adds a lot of calories 
which is what I heard, so I'm not gonna be using beer. This is going to be three cups. There she is. And then the green onions. Okay, so I'm gonna be chopping this up right here real quick. Show you guys right here. Once I chop it all up, I just get the whole batch. It's really easy to just smash it on through. And uh, once I can mix everything together, then uh, I can be ready to prep everything else that I need to do. So first of all, the first thing you gotta do is prep the green onions, just like that. All right, so green onions. Oh, you know me. I gotta take an Instagram picture. As you cook, you gotta make sure you take your pictures, you know what I'm saying? Home hero. Oh, snatch. Very, very important. Okay. Mixing the batter with chopsticks. That's how I do. Oh, there it is. I found it. The bag that I was looking for. So it's not pre-mixed, but there's this mixed bag right here. This is the tamarack. Yes. So I'm gonna open that up. Boom, look at the flavors. Oh, it's all yellowishy. Beautiful. Mix, 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 mix. Oh, check out that boomerang. Look at the flick of the wrist. Okay, so I'm gonna take this mix and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator so it can get cold as I prep everything else. Be chilled. Now we're going to prep all our vegetables, all our meats and everything like that so it's going to be easier to cook it and just smash it in there and everything like that. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys what I use to uh, with this dish. So we have cilantro. It's good just to pop it on the side. And uh, we have mint leaves. These are very, very good with the bun sale. So mint leaves, yummy. You wanna get some uh, mushrooms. Those are good. So vegetables, um, cucumber, bean sprouts, and a red onion. I really like red onions because it has a very good fragrance. So how I'm gonna do it is just gonna chop it up and then that's gonna be like for flavoring and good smell. So that's going to be right there. I'm gonna pop this over here because this is my cooking station. That's what's gonna be good. The protein that I'm gonna be using is going to be Wagyu beef, but you can use any type of um, meat such as usually people go for pork shoulder or any type of pork or beef or something like that. And then we also have shrimp. Make some shrimp too, so that will be in the mix as well. So that's going to be that. So it's time to prep it and uh, get ready for the cook. So really the only vegetables that you have to prepare is cucumbers and I like to uh, peel them off a little bit like this and I chop them in half, right here, see that in half and then I chop it another half like this and then just split it through. So it's like a long ways. So when you eat the, the dish, then you wrap, you wrap it in uh, lettuce uh, and then uh, you can have cucumbers that just fits your lettuce. Oh yeah, perfect cut. Perfectly cut. Ready. Okay. And uh, I think my prepping plate is almost done. I'm just missing the lettuce. 
we'll get the lettuce later. Now I'm gonna be cooking, cutting the onion. So I only need half of this because it's a lot of onion. And it's a big one, but that's how you do it. You chop the onion, crease one side, chop the other one as well. That's, ooh, beautiful red onions. Get it out. Just like that. Chop it in half. Chop it like this. Woo! Filling it. It's not as bad as just regular onions, but it's pretty bad. as I can. Urgh. So just gotta get through it. Okay, we could do this way. Just enough to go into your batter. That's a lot of onions right there. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. One is enough, so we're good with the chopping. Okay, so I prepped all my food and I'm ready to cook. The heat is on and uh, let me show you what I got going on. Okay, so here is my cooking station. There it is, it's a hot pot going on. Or skillet, and we got the shrimp beef oil red onions mushrooms and the batter yes let's start cooking Okay, so this is a test run. So the first test run, I just don't put any meat in it and I test how hot the pot is. As you cook, it gets better and better and better. So this is how she looks like right here. It's not as perfect, but uh, you gotta test the pot and get it going. Okay, and as you can see, he is crispy. Going to look something like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, beautiful. All right, so now I am in to my cooking and we're putting the beef in and the shrimp and the bean sprouts and everything and check this out. A few cooks and it's get better as better as I cook for sure. I just finished my first batches and boom, this is beautiful. Check this out. Oh yeah, yellow, beautiful pancakes. And uh, the great thing about being a chef is that you can eat your own food. I have all the vegetables right here. Oh yeah, check that out. Lettuce, uh, mint, cucumbers, ready to go. So how you want to do it is that uh, I already have a little piece right here. Get your lettuce and uh, some mint right here. Give one second because I already know this one's going on. Put some mushrooms there. Okay. And uh, get a little piece. So I have uh, for sure a little piece of the shrimp. Oh my gosh. These are very jumbo shrimp. Eat with your hands because that's how you do it. Uh, right here. And then you wrap it into 
the lettuce with some cucumbers. Mince is always good. And I have this fish sauce that I've created. My sister's created it, but I know how to make fish sauce as well. But you dip it in. Mm. The fish sauce is one of the greatest things, as well as the batter. Crunchy and satisfying. Well, thanks for watching. I'm gonna finish this off, but uh, hopefully you guys got a lot from this and may maybe you can make your own. If uh, you make your own, comment below. See if you like it. Let me know how, how it turns out on your end. But now, gotta attend to this. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm-hmm.